Hi, guys. I'm Kay Simpson, and this is FCC Podcast, Five Before Podcast. And this week, we're talking about miracles. And um, so today, I just have a couple questions. I'm kind of a deep thinker, and so I always start out with questions. And so what I started thinking about was, is it really a miracle if we don't see it, if we're not aware of it, if we're not looking for it? Um, if we're not strongly aware that it's going on. And I think for me, I always related the word miracle to like physical healing or something like huge and something that we all like could not miss that is actually happening. You know, I always thought it had to be a big healing. Somebody grew a leg back, somebody, you know, could not see and then they could see. I always thought it was just something big. Um, But for me, I've really experienced more, what I would call kind of like miracles of the heart, where I had let people hurt my feelings or something. I had a history with somebody, like a past issue, and I just couldn't get past it. I just couldn't work it out with them or with myself. And But I found myself talking about it with someone, praying about it, seeking some wise counsel, because lately there was one, and I just really wanted to move past it, and I didn't see how I could do it in my own heart and by myself. And But eventually what I noticed is that my heart changed. Um, sometimes it's fast. Sometimes it's slow. Sometimes it feels like it's turning the Titanic, you know, from one thing to another direction. Um, but over a period of time, this one, it wasn't years. It was um, probably weeks. I just felt my feelings had changed and my heart had changed toward this person. Um, and so to me, that is a miracle, and it feels kind of big, actually. Um, there's also what I call, like, miracles of provision, and that is when, you know, you can't see your way out. You know, the water's on one side and the army is on the other, and you can't see that the sea is going to open up, or you can't see that um, something different is going to happen. So have you ever kind of experienced that supernatural provision from the Lord? Like, you're looking at the budget, you're looking at the checkbook, and you're like, there is no way I'm going to make it to the end of this month and get everything taken care of, and then the end of the month comes and everything is fine. So to me, that's kind of like the provision. It's the supernatural provision. It's a miracle. And I've had that happen in my life where things have changed that I could not have figured out. You know, Um, I needed something and someone actually gave it to me. Like, you need a pair of shoes for this or you need something for that. And the next thing you know, here's somebody in your life giving it to you. It may seem like small things, but to me in the grand scheme of things, it is just a miracle in your everyday life. But it is still even though it's like somebody not somebody in a wheelchair is not up and walking, it is still supernatural provision to me nonetheless. So I feel like it would be so cool if we could all just live our life um, eyes wide open every day, just looking for that miracle, believing in his supernatural love for us and that he is going to shift the Titanic even we and we feel like there is no way this is going to change. There's no way anything is going to come of what is going on in our life. So I feel like I want to live my life. I would love for all of us to live our life like it is just a supernatural gift from God. And the miracle is that he rose from the dead. It actually happened, and he did it for us. It was not for himself. He did it because he just loved us that much. And what a huge miracle that is. I think we just forget that that actually happened. And so for me, I just wanted to remind us all of the miracle of that, that Jesus rose from the dead. That's kind of a big deal. And that he did it because he loved us so much. So that's kind of my focus on miracles today, guys. I just wanted to remind you of that. He loves us so very much. Um, Let me pray for us. Lord, I just thank you so much for that reminder small miracles, big miracles, that you're still active and moving in our life, and that you rose from the dead just because you loved us so much and you had the power to do that. And you have the power to perform miracles in our life even today. And we're thankful and we love you. Amen. Amen, guys. Have a great day.